What we are trying to do is to take the very nice properties of graphene, which are usually measured on the single sheet at the nanometric scales, and transfer them to bulk macroscopic material that can be used in different kinds of applications. A composite is a material that merges together the good qualities of two different things. Think as example to reinforce concrete, in which you have concrete and steel. We are trying to do this with graphene at the nanometric scale. Graphene can have very nice properties that can give composites for different kinds of application. For structural application, as example improving the mechanical properties of polymers or carbon fibers composites. In energy application, when, where graphene can be mixed with oxides to improve the capacity or energy storage of batteries or uh, as example in electronics where graphene can be mixed with other kinds of semiconductors merging together the nice charge mobility of graphene with the nice on off ratio of other kinds of semiconductors well we can divide all the different potential application in really uh, short time range medium time range and long time range and even the, uh, this of course is, is valid is also for composites some kinds of application can be uh, available very soon and uh, we already have in shops uh, like sport goods who claim to have graphene and improvements in properties due to graphene. Like tennis rackets, they are already commercial and sold in shops. And I guess that these kinds of structural application for composites will be the, one, the first ones to hit the markets in the next years. On a more uh, medium scale, we'll have uh, applications for uh, more refined uh, materials like uh, conductive inks or uh, electrodes for batteries which can be uh, available in a few years. On a much longer, longer scale we'll have application of graphene based composites for electronics, flexible electronics, displays or even biological application which are still at a very fundamental level.